everybody has a story. You know, understand that this is your life, but you can, make, you can still make the best of it. We can do everything anyone else can, just in a different way. We all have something that we experience. February 23rd, 2008 is when I started losing my sight. That was the last bit of light I could see. By June 3rd of 2008, I was completely blind. The water is the one place where I can just kind of let loose and do whatever I need to do, you know? It's a moment where I don't have to worry about, you know, what my legs have restricted. So it was that freedom from the outside world and the water was my freedom from my blindness. Swimming is a really solitude sport. Um, it's just you in the water and once you get on the blocks, it's just your preparation. It's, you don't have to depend essentially on anyone else. I'm 48 inches, so four feet exact. I was really a rare case. I was one in 25,000 um, for my genetic mutation, and I'm the first dwarf ever in my family. I actually never knew I was different um, until I got older and I wasn't growing as fast. I knew I was different. Basically, I was born with missing tibias in both of my legs, which caused um, me to have an amputation when I was a year and a half. From there on, I got my first pair of prosthetics when I was three. And my mom was basically was making well enough money, but not enough to afford my prosthetics. Um, so what she did is she filed for uh, unemployment. That put us in a tough financial bind, uh, which made us homeless when I was about seven years old, going from being homeless to now training at the Olympic Training Center. That's, you know, taking, taking my life and putting it into my hands and doing what I can to, to, to better it. Um, and anybody else can do that. I'm no different from any other person. So it's possible for many for anyone. I had a decision you can cry about it or you can figure out how to push on through life. Going blind, the day I went blind, it seemed like the world would change forever. And I heard people say, well, I guess that means you're gonna have to stop swimming. And I remember in my mind going, nope. They just said, I dare you to go swim and not only swim, but beat everyone in the pool. And that's what I heard in my head. So it took me probably a full year to get to where I was faster, but once I figured it out, not only was I faster, I was a lot faster. So I found a way to survive and now I'm a Paralympic medalist. I started swimming competitively at nine years old. I committed to Paralympic training when I was 16. I made the national team uh, beginning of 2015. The stories of my teammates of how they got to being here is so incredible and it's just an honor to share the pool with some of the stories that um, came from nothing and now is competing at the international stage. Everybody's been through something, um, but everybody has a goal and it's kind of the same goal we all have when it comes to going to the games. Um, being around athletes that have the same mentality, it's a game changer. Whether they're dwarf or blind or missing a leg, whatever it might be, we're willing to help each other. And that's the amazing thing with Paralympics. It's not about the can't, it's about the can. I had to, to come to terms with, with my disability, um, kind of accepted it, you know, whatever challenges came with it. We really took essential accident or injury and made the most of it. You can do anything, you just have to learn to do it differently. Your disability is not what defines you, you define the disability.